there was a huge fall on gold XAU USD for approximately $76 or so. So the market started from here and all the way down it just tanked. And towards the end of the week, it just started to recover some of the lost ground. So a majority of this move was captured by us in our analysis. I shared that in our, uh, our public telegram and in our FCP uh, Discord room as well. But you see what has been happening here in gold is that market has been from all time high. It has been falling down, taking a correction, falling down, taking a correction. So as you can clearly see that market is creating like a lower highs and lower lows, which means that market is still bearish. However, on bigger time frames, such as like you no know, weekly or daily, the market could be bullish. So what kind of opportunities are available on gold and um, what kind of like you no know, scenarios are available or levels or zones are available on in the coming weeks that we are going to find out in this analysis. Uh, so stay tuned. Right, so before we proceed into uh, this analysis, let's see like, you know, what happened here and how we captured this because we need to understand what has happened before we can proceed into what can happen. So uh, let me bring this on our Telegram. I shared this on Telegram and I shared this on FCV Discord room for students as well, but let's uh, start with Telegram. So on Telegram, I uh, posted this. Uh, there was not much of a posting actually uh, last week because I was looking for perfect opportunity to get into the trade. Um, so here I shared a hint in our public telegram that, you know, there was a 200 moving average coming and I shared that, you know, you should watch gold one hour time frame because it was reaching 200 moving average. And I have already posted a video on 200 moving average. If you have not gone through that, go through it because gold uh, usually respects 200 moving average, 200 SMA very nicely. So we were looking for a short from here. Why? Uh, because of same reason. See, the market was falling down and it was going for a correction. And while doing so, it was reaching one hour moving average. There were a few other factors which I will walk in, walk you to, walk, walk you through it. Um, so, um, and then the market started to fall from there, exactly from there. Like another market went there, and then we waited for the confirmation. And I took the trade. I took this trade personally as well. Here, this was uh, premium analysis uh, users were given this level in advance. Uh, they were able to confirm that you know the market was reaching this particular important level which is in maroon color and then soon after that the market started to fall down so this is the power of premium analysis using fcb the market kept on falling uh, it was kind of like in a waterfall um, and it kept on falling and there were few reasons which were given uh, for this bearish move. First was there was a multi-decade trend line resistance which is running and uh, I've already shown that in the previous analysis. If you have not uh, seen my previous analysis, please go and check that out. So we have multi-decade trend line resistance. There was extended W pattern which was completed at all time high. Then weekly huge bearish pin bar. So a uh, week before we had a huge bearish pin bar which meant that in you know, the last week was supposed to be bearish uh, there were more chances of it being bearish and it actually did happen and the monthly candle was uh, turning into bearish uh, like another you know, one the the june candle was bearish doji at the top of the uh, trend so let me show you that actually instead of just talking over it so here See, this is the bullish trend that has been happening here. And then we had this bearish doji now. So when we have something like this, this is a mark of indecision. But that top of like, you know, um, bullish trend, it kind of like, you know, just, it has a subtle and inclination towards the bearishness. So uh, that is why this is more of a bearish and it has also been creating pin bar, pin bar, pin bar. So there are several directions coming to the top. So that is also adds to the bearishness. Now we have the bear, um, weekly uh, candle. So this was the bearish pin bar, which means that you know this week was going to be bearish and that's exactly what has happened. Although this week has completed as like you know, as a doji candle. So we still need to see whether the market opens to the high side or the downside because right now the way it is looking right now this candlestick is an indecision pattern i was expecting it to complete around here but towards the end of the fr friday it started to push up and it it closed nearly below this level here below this support level here of the previous bullish candle which means that it is slightly bearish but uh, this pattern is still kind of like you no know, indecision candles we'll have to see how the market like you know, opens and how it actually works out in the current um, 
uh, like you know, in the in the new week. Here are a few things that you should be aware of. First of all, uh, the market has like you know uh, come to this structure here, level here once again. Um, it went down, went back up, fell through it. Now it is trying to retest it. However, in this process, we also have a bigger M pattern forming. So if the market rejects from here, then it is going to some do something like this. It can do something like this and then push back up. So there are few things which are happening here. So one is that you know this is three step process which is running so this is a very critical level right now and i'll show you there are a few things which you should be aware one is that you know we have two to 2400 round number around here we have few gaps available here i'll show you that all that in a second um so there are a few things which are happening here there is a w pattern in the on the smaller time frame which is uh, which is forming so let me show you that as well and then i'll walk you through what we did on discord as well so here if i go to a smaller time frame okay this is where we shot it from okay on here we have a gap of label exactly around here which is very close to the, i believe 2401 uh, which can get filled because it's very very close to that uh, but you know how gaps are like you know, they may or may not get filled immediately we have this w pattern here extended w pattern which can extend itself a little bit further to close that gap up test that 2400 once again so this is also one of the scenarios once the market has cleared this then only it is expected to go much higher so wait out like you no know, watch out for this particular area uh, because this is at a very critical decision point um, right now okay so this is that critical decision area um, right here this structure level is a very very important because if it like you know it is acting as a neckline or something then we have this in uh, head and shoulders as well okay and then we have this secondary shoulders as well so these are all the things and we have um neckline here as well so if the market breaks through it then it is going to go further down so these are um very important very important coming in coming days or weeks now, if I show you another bullish possibility, if that was like in a more of a bearish possibility, but if I show you bullish possibility, then what can happen is that, you know, if the market breaks through this area, this particular area here, and it starts to challenge this, then what we can have is something like this, a bigger W pattern, which can also lead to all time highs once more, or at least like you no know, testing of this area, because the W pattern will be completed around there. So make sure that you go through all of the scenarios, but trade one level at a time, look at one level at a time. So th this is very important critical decision level. We need to see whether the market actually goes above, gives us a confirmation to go bullish, or it falls down, like, you know, it goes slightly above, creates a fake breakout and falls down. So we'll have to see, because right now, the way, um, weekly has closed is a kind of indecision. So we'll have to wait and watch what is going on with the market. Okay. Now, if i show you what we did in discord room in discord room uh, we were playing like you know little scalps day trades um so i personally had like in you know, a few trades here uh one to one two to one those sort of things and on that day i was looking you know, looking for this particular level which was 2408 this was like you know, my primary level which i was looking for and i knew that market was if the market was going to go down it was going to um, go into that so i had like you no know, few um a few one-to-ones here two-to-ones here a few break events a few losses as well so on the day on the day trade like you no know, like this one this was a very good one-to-one one point five to one approximately um, trade here and the target was reached uh, so this is what we did uh, but ultimately like you know i said uh, towards like in 200 sma on one hour right you know and then we planned for a trade i had a one-to-one uh, trade there and this is what and soon after that i took another trade uh, which turned out to be very nice and this is what i shared uh, in the public room as well so there are several like you know um uh, day trades or scalp trades all of those things like you know who are there in on world so what can happen uh, in terms of like you know levels and zones let me bring that up so we have a gap available at this level which is approximately 2400 
right? And this previous gap, which I gave you um, two weeks ago, 2,380, that has already been filled. Now the market may try to go back up to fill this 2,400 gap. I believe there was a gap around here as well, around 2,456. So we need to see whether it becomes bullish once again at some point in time to close that gap up. But uh, this is what it is at the moment. Now, remember what we have on two hour time frame, we have this 200 SMA as well which is also 2,401. You should watch that out. And remember how 200 SMA books, like the four hour 200 SMA supported this price, even on eight hour 200 SMA supported the price. So make sure that you like nice part of your learning. Use 200 SMA and gold trading. That is going to change your trading completely. Here we had the 100, 200 moving average on one hour, which made it fall. So. If I go to the daily time frame, I already showed you um, how it is looking, but let me show you one more thing. So not daily, let me show you a smaller time frame. Yeah. Okay. So this was the trend line which I was talking about last time. The market came down below it, went above, retested it. This was a confirmation, and the market has been falling down since then. And there are a few other trend lines which are available in the premium analysis report as well. If you want to order one of those, please uh, find a link in the description of this video or contact us on Telegram or send an email and we will be able to help you with that so this is my analysis on gold xau usd hope you enjoyed this hope you found this useful if you did make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and share it with other traders and trading communities and you are most welcome to join our official uh, telegram channel public channel where i share my um, my views and analysis and my post for free which is Wiccans fx you're most welcome to join here and if you're looking for fcp training then you can find the link uh, the link in the description or you can contact us on telegram also in the next one have a great trading week thank you for watching find and follow us on these social media channels